Hey guys, what is going on? I am Desert here bringing you episode 14 of my Hardcore Iron Man Quest Cape series. In this episode, we are going to be doing some pest control. Uh, this is another big grind that I want to get out of the way. Um, last episode was just tons and tons of quests. This time, I'm going to start doing some combat. So I'm going to get myself to 60 attack. Uh, so I can start wielding my dragon weapons, and then also we might do a bit of range training later in the episode, because I really want to go do uh, another couple of quests that require me to get my range up. But let's get started. To anyone who's ever played Pest Control before, is it just me or does every round the purple portal get neglected? I feel like every round this is the least populated portal. It's a pain in the ass. So I have decided I am going to camp Pest Control until I have all sets of void, so that's magic, melee, and range. Now the reason I'm doing this is because once I finish pest control, I uh, once I finish doing pest control, I will be training my range so I can do quests like animal magnetism and big choppy bird hunting. And uh, also, I want to get the mage uh, gear because it'll be it'll all be my best in slot basically uh, for a while to come. So I think it's really really good to invest my time now because also the thing is. Is I'm getting money from this. Uh, this after this game, I will have my first piece of um, void armor, and that means if I was to do this for all helmets, uh, that'll get me 160k plus gloves, which is I think 150 points, so maybe another 30k. So we're looking at almost 200k cash just from doing pest control. So I think it's a really good investment of my time. Also, the longer I stay here. Um, the more combat XP I get. I'm currently sitting at 54 attack, only 6 more levels until I get to 60 so I can start using my dragon weapons. But it turns out I'm actually retarded and I must have 42 attack, strength, defense, hit points, ranged, and magic to even be able to start buying any of these pieces of gear. <sighs> so I guess uh, I need to start training range. So it turns out that with my ranging level as it is, um, you have to hit over a certain number to actually get zeal. Uh, and let's just quickly do this. Uh, my, oh, actually, no, we're not going to do the mime show. Um, yeah, so I'm not hitting high enough. So I'm going to finish off my slayer task with my iron knives and my iron arrows, depending on which one I feel like using. Because uh, we're going to have to get our range level up first before we carry on with best control. So we'll quickly get this out of the way. Probably just get to level 30. We got ourselves 28 range, which means I can now wield my Dorgashon crossbow. Fun thing also, because I did the death to the Dorgashon quest, I can actually use the special attack, which is basically like a poor man's BGS. <laughs> uh, it just lowers an enemy's defense, if, uh, depending on how much you hit. So yeah, nice little upgrade, I think. Once I hit 30, I'm going to get hit off and do animal magnetism. And then once I finish um, Magnetism, I've got Ava's Accumulator, I'm going to head back to Pest Control. And that is the 30 range that I was after, which means I can now complete Ava's Accumulator. And I can also wear my Snakes and Boots, which is great. I'm just going to finish killing this Ogre, and then we're going to head off and do Animal Magnetism. There is the Animal Magnetism quest done. We now have Ava's Attractor. Um, I think... Oh, i got a Woodcutting level. Nice. I think I need to get a higher range level before I can make Ava's Attractor. I'll just take a look. Yep, as I expected, I need to get 50 range uh, and 75 steel arrows before I can purchase the Abba's Accumulator over the Abba's Attractor, which is fine, but we're going back to pest control for now and hopefully we'll get up our range. I'll probably get it up to level 50 so that I can upgrade the uh, Alerta, uh, sorry, the um, Attractor to the Accumulator. Um, and then we'll, head, we'll switch back to training melee. Probably mean nothing to you guys. Um, there was a guy who was on the, uh... <laughs> it's this guy here, he was standing on this board and he's like, I'm here, Luke, question mark, and so I said, get on Skype, Luke. And I spawned all of this conversation. Just everyone in the boat started freaking out. That was actually hilarious. I'm really proud of that. Once again, getting absolutely boned by Tears of Gothix, but it gets us a couple of runecrafting levels. We're now up to 28. Oh, that was delicious totally missed the level while I was doing this a little bit AFK, uh, not to say that I'm not making an effort, <laughs> but I got 40 range, uh, which now means I can technically uh, wield uh, green dehyde if I ever buy some from, I think you get it from the Champions Guild to get the uh, green dehyde chaps, and then when I finally get um, Dragon Slayer done, 
I can buy the green dehyde top if I ever needed to. But for now, I think I'll just chill with uh, what the, the gear I've got on now. Oh, shit. I died. No, just kidding. It doesn't. It's a safe minigun. Alright, that is 42 range completed. That means I can now wield the Void Knight equipment. Which means I can actually spend, spend some of the points that I have accumulated. Uh, I'm going to swap back to melee now. Uh, I know that might annoy some people leaving it at 42, but I mean, uh, my other stats are all, all over the place anyway. And I will fix them up at some point, but for now, this is all about uh, getting the void armor. So, back to melee. So with my first set of points, I am going to buy the Void Knight Bottoms. Uh, next purchase, uh, I've got 143 points left, so I'm actually not too far off it. But my next purchase will be the top, then gloves, and then I'll start buying the helmets. Uh, but that is one piece down, uh, three to go. Somehow I get the feeling I'm the only one hitting this portal. Fuck me. Seriously, sometimes this game is just, it's just so fucking rigged against you with the people who play it. Like this guy here, he was here before, but he buggered off. And now he's, okay, now he's killing the spinners, but like, fuck this minigame sucks sometimes. Like, we're probably going to lose this round. It's getting towards the evening here where I live, uh, so these boats are getting real slow. Like, if you miss it, you're absolutely screwed. But here we go, I am going to buy the top. That is two pieces down. I said three pieces to go in the last clip, but that was totally incorrect. I still need the gloves and all three helmets, so now it's four pieces to go. We are currently picking up the gloves. We now have three pieces of void, which means we just need to start buying the helmets. Um, I'm going to start with melee, um, and what that's going to unlock for me is I will be wearing melee void while I do pest control, and it'll help me unlock the other ones a little more efficiently, just because I'll be hitting harder with that bonus from full void. Let's go. I'm actually going to put the rest of it on. I might as well. I don't really need the armor if I die it's safe so it just, just looks cool when you're wearing void just doing a quick tree run here and with the last tree of this run I got myself 40 farming which uh, unlocks nothing new apparently which is weird to me uh, but we've got five more willows planted uh, means we're gonna get close to I think if I do my tree run and they all survive again I should get myself uh, 42 farming hopefully and once I hit 42, because I have no more um, tree saplings that I can technically plant until I'm able to plant maple trees, I might have to start doing some limpwort and herb runs. Um, which means later on, once these trees have grown and I decide to actually come check them, I am going to go do the Hosidius house favor and possibly Shazian uh, to hopefully get the Lizardman Fang uh, so I can use the herb patch that's really close to the Glade teleport on the Lizardman, um, the Xerix Talisman. So that is a farm run done, let's go back to pest control. Huge oversight on my part, I totally forgot about the tree patches on the fossil island uh, because I have teak saplings, I have I can plant, I think I've got 24 teak saplings to plant which means that is a lot, that's a decent chunk of farming experience. Uh, I should be able to reach 45 which means I'll start being able to use my maples as well. This, uh, this changes the game. This is great. While this grind is really really long and stuff, uh, the thing I have appreciated most is the ability not to AFK 100% because you obviously need to make sure you are hitting and doing things for the team otherwise you don't get any points um, but it's been able I've been able to like binge watch TV shows or like movies and stuff but actually shout out to uh, Rooster Teeth's uh, Heroes and Halfwits it's a D&D &D kind of playthrough of a, of a homebrew uh, quest made by this guy named Frank um, and it's it's seriously it's so much fun to watch if you have any interest in D&D &D, uh, Dungeons and Dragons I would highly recommend Heroes and Halfwits. I'm currently on episode 18 and each episode at least is over an hour long so plenty of content and uh, Yeah, just a small recommendation for anyone who might be interested. It's currently only like 7 30 p.m. where I am and Like you sh I, I was gonna aim to get the melee helmet before I took a break because I've basically been playing all day um, but the I think I've lost three games in a row because um, no one's here. No one's no one's attacking the portals. I think pretty much they're all bots. And look look at that! Like no one's no one's strong enough to defeat the portals and attack anything coming out of them. And I just feel like I'm we're basically playing it solo at the moment. So uh, once this game fails, because we're about to lose, um, I'm actually 
just gonna take a break from pest control and come back at a later time. You guys won't notice it. I just it just frustrates the shit out of me. How like how how bot ridden this game can be. It sucks. One more attack level to go, and we are able to wield our dragon scimitar, which I have very uh, <laughs> very sneakily sitting in my inventory, waiting to be wielded, uh, along with my DDS, which I got from Dragon Implants. Uh, oh, this is a it's a long grind. This is my actually it's my last game for tonight because uh, I came back after the worlds were absolute garbage, and I'm about to get uh, my next item, and uh, you'll see me in a sec. The first piece, uh, the first helmet I will be purchasing is the Void Knight Melee Helmet. Which means, if I quickly pop into the bank, I might have to put in my bank pin very quickly. Yeah, two seconds. And here is the wonderful transformation. I now have full Void Melee. Uh, two more helmets to go. Um, I will get to 60 attack by the end of it hopefully it means I can start training either strength or defense. I'll probably get defense up to 45 uh, first because it means that I can go off and buy a berserker helm for later when I end up getting things like torso and defender and that becomes my better gear instead of wearing uh, void melee. Uh, next I'm getting the range helmet because once I've got the range helmet if I really don't feel like getting the mage helm, uh, the mage hood, I can just kind of ignore it for a while. <laughs> Um, but I, I am planning on getting both. I didn't miss the recording. We now have 60 attack. That is insane. I am going to spec. Oh, that 90 XP drop. Oh, that's beautiful. I am a happy, happy man. This is honestly going to make training my other combat stats so much faster. Uh, just got a 70 XP drop. Like... Other than the DDS 90, that's the highest XP drop I've hit. Like, it's just, it's just good. <laughs> it's so good. And here we are picking up the Avoid Knight Range Helm. One more to go. Uh, I'm definitely sticking around to get the Mage Hood. Uh, but then we are done. We are done with Pest Control until we need to get Elite Void, which means I can do the, I'll be able to do the Veteran Boat at that point, And pretty much it won't even matter. But there we go. One more to go. I wasn't even paying attention, and I didn't even realize I got myself to 50 strength. I'm now going to swap over to defense. I'll probably get it up to 50. Um, possibly, yeah, I'll get it up to 50, then get strength up to 60 or 70. Uh, that means if I if I get it up to 70, I'll be able to have access to the Champions Guild. Uh, not Champions Guild. The Warriors Guild, uh, which will be useful in the long run, but yeah, 50 strength. We just hit ourselves 45 defense. We can now wield the uh, Zerka helm or any other the barbarian helmets, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to get up to 50 before we start training strength again. Finishing off this game of pest control with 50 defense, which is very nice. Means I can swap back over to strength. Uh, we're going to just keep powering that out until we finish pest control. See what we finish on. We are officially done. Mage helm purchased. I now only have one point left. Uh, that is the full melee, full range, and full mage. I've never actually owned the mage hood, uh, but it looks pretty badass. Holy moly. That, that took me a good week of just straight grinding this game. I am done with pest control. Uh, we finished on 51 strength. Uh, we didn't actually end up getting another another level from uh, from that. We got 60 attack, 50 strength, and 50 defense. I'm so glad at how uh, how neat and tidy those uh, stats are. And we are going to finish the episode here in front of my growing teak tree. Uh, I thought it would have been grown by now. I thought I'd left it for long enough, but apparently not. That was a long episode to film on my end, just specifically because pest control is, while it's while it's good XP and like the armor is going to be really useful in the long run, it can get quite tedious sometimes, but it's all over. Uh, we ended up with 60 attack, 50 strength, 50 defense, got four, ourselves to 42 range. Uh, next episode I think I'm going to get myself up to 66 magic because I'm out of law runes and I don't want to have to go back into the wilderness. Uh, nothing else really much on the levels wise, but that's alright. We have our full void. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Drop a comment. Let me know how this episode looks. Um, like the video. Subscribe. Join my clan chat if you want to. 
Jazz at NZ. It's been a bit quiet at the moment, but I think it's because I've been a bit inactive. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Much love.